So saying that circumstances are neutral can be fairly controversial. And I think it is one of the most important concepts that I have ever learned and frankly that I am still learning because there's a lot of power in it and there are many layers to it. And really getting that circumstances, and I mean all of them, are neutral is one of the fundamental concepts behind saving time and energy and reducing stress. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> First, let's be clear that I'm defining a circumstance as something that is. It exists in the world. I don't know if you just heard any bark, but she already barked. She, they're making noise in the background. I forgot to shut my door. It's 64 degrees out. That's a fact. It's neutral. The Browns lost yesterday to the Chargers, 47 to 42. All of those events are actually neutral. And what gives them meaning is the way that I think about them. What gives your circumstances meaning is the way that you think about them. If I'm thinking, oh, I can't believe it. Why are they making so much noise? That's creating some energy around the neutral circumstance. I also think that the weather is perfect, just the way that it is. So I'm making the weather mean something. And I also think that the Browns should have won yesterday. They were leading and they messed up. So you can see that the external circumstances are neutral until I put a thought on it, until I give it meaning. And it's true for the dogs and for the weather and for the Browns. And it's also true for things in your life, even the big things like death and taxes and family issues and COVID and all of it. And so the reason that this is so powerful to understand is because when you are able to separate out the circumstances and the meaning that you are giving to it, you literally are creating space. You create space for a response instead of a reaction. You allow the people to be who they are and you come from a more powerful place versus like a forceful stance. And by the way, it feels a lot better in your body. So the next time you feel yourself getting annoyed, a little annoyed or a lot annoyed, or you're going through something emotionally, see if you can't discern between the external events and your thoughts around it. And I want to be really clear. I'm not telling you not to have thoughts about what's going on or to not have emotions, but to just to be aware that you are responsible for your emotions, that you are response able. So see if you can't see the difference. And I would love to hear how that works for you. Go forth and create an amazing day.